Are you considering pardoning Paul Manafort? Uh, I have great respect for what he's done in terms of what he's gone through. You know, he worked for Ronald Reagan for years. He worked for Bob Dole. He worked, I guess his firm worked for McCain. He worked for many, many people, many, many years. And I would say what he did, some of the charges mm -hmm. they threw against him, every consultant, every lobbyist in Washington probably does. Uh, if you look at Hillary Clinton's person, uh, you take a look at the people that worked for Hillary Clinton. I mean, look at the crimes that Clinton did with the emails, and she deletes 33,000 emails after she gets a subpoena from Congress, and, and this Justice Department does nothing about it, and all of the other crimes that they've done. We run out of adjectives to uh, describe how bizarre Donald Trump's uh, behavior is. I mean, you know, the, the, the business of flipping, the business of getting defendants to cooperate on one another, is the entire basis just about of how U U.S. attorneys' offices work, how federal prosecutions work in this country, which is under the supervision of the President of the United States. And um, I, I, you know, as a former federal prosecutor myself, I think it works pretty well. Um, the idea that it is somehow improper or should be unlawful is, is astonishing, especially if you think that criminals ought to be prosecuted. Well, that, that's the best well, way we know how to do it. He seems to not think so. He well, seems I, to apparently. not think so. He's saying that Paul Manafort, you know, great guy, not convicted felon. He seemed to think Paul Manafort should not Because he didn't break, he said. I mean, I think well, that's also I mean, cool. the, the, the Manafort comments are really uh, astonishing because it is worth remembering, putting aside the political context of what uh, Manafort was convicted of, the crimes themselves were pretty astonishing. I mean, here's a guy who, when he was making money, cheated elaborately on his taxes, when he stopped making money, he started lying to banks in order to get money under false pretenses. That's all the Paul Manafort case was. And the idea that the president would praise someone like that is, again, pretty astonishing.